Uh, and now I'm in a controversy with Romney. Newsweek magazine. Tina Brown's magazine. Now my Barry Diller. Newsweek. The wimp factor. Is Romney just too insecure to be president? Is Romney just too insecure to be president? Now, that's the news we Let me show it up here very quickly. They, I'm not going to zoom in. I don't have time, but, but, but there it is. There's, there's the news we cover, right? Now, I want to take you back. I want to take you back October 19, 1987, Newsweek, same magazine, George W. Bush, George H.W. Bush fighting the wimp factor. They're just recycling. Tina Brown is simply recycling a 1987 cover. George Bush, running for president the first time, taking over for Ronaldo's Magnus, fighting the wimp factor. And now here at Romney. Romney, the wimp factor. Is he just too insecure to be... Now, what's, what is this about? Well, let's go to the audio sound bites and find out. This morning on CNN, starting point. The, uh, the host at Soledad O'Brien spoke with the guy who wrote the story that Romney is just too insecure to be president, Michael Tomaski. And she said, uh, you, you, you think you create a strong argument for the wimp factor as opposed to a personal attack framed around the wimp factor? The heart of the piece centers on the positions that he takes, the way that he has pandered so consistently on important, important issues, uh, issues on which we'd like to see our politicians have some kind of consistency, some kind of backbone. Uh, he's repeatedly just changed positions completely and pandered totally to the right wing. When Rush Limbaugh says jump, he says how high. I think it's a fair question to ask. Is this the kind of person uh, that we want to see in the White House? How lame is this? You people can't fool us. You people at Newsweek are pathetic. You recycle something from 1987. It's just a theme. You guys have your playbook. It's divided by years. You think enough years have gone by. You had a cover back in 1987. George H.W. Bush wimp. Let's go forward to 2012. Mitt Romney wimp. And because when I say jump, he asks how high. This is, uh, let me tell you what this is, folks. This is an attempt by Newsweek to soften you up. This is not aimed at, at Democrat voters. This is aimed at you, Romney the flip-flopper. And the reason they're doing this is because Romney is being profoundly successful in refuting and keeping alive Obama's idiocy. You didn't build it. You didn't make that happen. You didn't do that. That got really under their skin, so now it's time to go after Romney. But to throw me in here, I've, I've, never, I've never called Romney, and I've never said jump. Not yet. I haven't done that. Uh, but th this, this, this is all part of the plan. Calling Romney a wimp is aimed at suppressing the white, blue-collar vote. Blue-collar voters hate wimps. You know, the working white Americans that Obama has abandoned, and now whose votes they're trying to suppress, this is all about trying to make those people think that Romney is a wuss. That's why they're getting Clinton to go to the convention, to get some gravitas and to also try to suppress... The working white vote that is uh, abandoning Obama. I have taken, and you, you really have to laugh the desperation here of, of Tina Brown and the people at Newsweek uh, and, and trying to portray Romney as a wimp. We've all seen Obama throw a baseball. He looks not even as good as an average girl throwing a baseball, and he, and he went out there, I think it was in Washington, throwing out ceremonial first pitch, or maybe it was Chicago Kaminsky Field, as he says, uh, wearing mom jeans. Guy goes out there wearing mom jeans and looks like a girl. And there's a new book out, by the way, by a guy named Richard Miniter. It's called Leading from Behind, and it's about how Obama's a wimp. It's about how it, it, it required three efforts to get him to pull the trigger to get bin Laden. 
He canceled the bin Laden kill three times at the urging of a woman, Valerie Jarrett. The idea that Romney is a wimp. I, I, I hate having to even spend time on this, but they bring it up. you got to deal with it. And if anybody, if anybody comes off as a wimp in American politics, you got to send Bill Clinton in there to cover for Obama's wimpishness.